Kevin Collins and Leon Stickle. Reggie Lemlin in goal for the Boston Bruins. He has been an instrumental factor in bringing the Bruins to the fourth best record regular season. National Hockey League and in the playoffs and Patrick Roy for the Montreal Canadiens. They will be starting Brian Scrudlin at center Mike McPhee on the left and Claude Lemieux on the right for Boston. Steve Casper at center Randy Burridge Willie Plett with Bork and Kluzak. Kluzak fires it in left wing side going for it Plett in the corner kicks it around the boards and it is Mike Lawler trying to come out and he is greeted by Kluzak. And Lemieux is forced to clear it, and this will set up. No, they wave off the icing. Reggie reached out and touched it. And back comes Burridge now. Long pass from Bork. Flipped in by Casper. A heavy hit, but he knocks down. Casper did. Lawler, a heavy hit in deep by Plett. And the Bruins get it in the corner, but McPhee breaks up the play. Burridge fighting for it, and it rolls back to Scrudlin. Scrudlin to McPhee. A lead for Lemieux. Lemieux battling for it, and Scrudlin gets it behind the net. McPhee, too, broken up by Wesley, who just came on. Wesley able to clear it out quickly. Heavy pressure set by the forechecking of Lemieux. A long drive by Scrudlin, and a save by Lemlin, and Ray Bork wheels it right out to Willie Platt, who's still on. From center ice, the drive-in, so the Bruins can make the change. Robinson moves it up for Smith. Smith going to the corner now. Lindsman battling him. Pass blocked over on the boards. Corson. Now it's back to Svoboda. Pass in front. The Bruins break it up. And Lindsman wheels it out in the center ice. Looking for an opening. And he gets it. He's over the line. He cuts it on the left. LeMay puts the shot on Rowa. The save. Tries to center it. And it's taken by Robinson around the boards. Blocked by Kluzak at the line for Crowder. Crowder to the corner. Puts it behind the net for Linsman. Linsman put it in front. The Canadians intercept. LeMay is spilled. And a penalty on Montreal in a collision between LeMay and Svoboda. Break in the action. Let's pause for this message. 145, a power play for Boston. Right there, a little dump it from behind. Give him a little cross check. It more like a hook. That was LeMay who went down. And the power play for Boston has Janney Joyce Neely. Bork and Wesley race off to the right of Roy. One for Boston. Wesley fires. It is blocked. Canadians able to clear it out. Carbono with a good play. Wesley now to Ray Bork at the Boston zone. In the center ice for Janney. Janney drives it in on the left wing boards. Neely going for it. Neely into the corner. And he was hit and stopped in the play of a good check by Ludwig. The puck pops the center ice. Back for it. Wesley to Bork and the Bruins start the power play with Bork winding up. Wesley checked by Carbono. Oh, that's tenacious for checking by Carbono. He was able to cover two men. They were too close together, Bork and Wesley. They keep possession and Bork now clears it in. Blocked by Rowa behind the net. Chelios trying to move it out. Janney snaps it, looking for Larson, who's in action on defense. A good play by Neely. Broke it, play up, moved it into the corner. Fought for there. Ryan Walter able to clear it, but it deflects into the stands off Ray Bork. And the face off inside the Canadian line. 101 left on the penalty to Corson for tripping and the face off coming up. Extremely uh, aggressive forechecking on the shorthanded situation. Here's uh, Claude Lemieux knocking down Lemelin. Clean check, fair check. But the Canadians upset the momentum of that power play a little bit by getting on Wesley quickly. Tough to carry by Guy Carbono. The, uh, the object on that power play, I think you got to pass it uh, quite a distance from Carbono and make the play early. He's too good a checker to try to carry it by one on one. Rick Middleton out of action. The Bruins have brought up Greg Johnston from Maine Mariners. And of course, also Michael Telvin, Blum, and Larson. And Larson is out there with Kluzak. The draw in the Canadian zone, a minute left on the power play, in deep to Sweeney, Sweeney deeper to Crowder. Back for Sweeney, heavy hitting by Montreal. Boy, they are playing it very physical. They clear it out. Larson, good play off for Lindsman, away to Crowder over the line, a hit by McPhee. Back to Larson, Larson the shot, missed the net. Long rebound, Kluzak moves it in front, deflected, and uh, his Newell calling a penalty. 
apparently on Sweeney the way he's looking at him. And Bob Sweeney's trying to figure out what it's for. Interference. 39 seconds left on the Corson penalty, and then uh, Montreal will have a power play. And Montreal has come out hitting. Yeah, Montreal wants this game, no doubt about it. They're not going to quit. He stumbled into uh, Patrick Bois. That's why he got it. He was expecting the shot to be on the net. And now each team short a man here with 16.54 left in period number one. Canadians have some big hitters among their forwards and also on defense. We're thinking about McPhee, who wrapped Lindsman along the boards. You know, there's a lot to be said for hitting, but there's a time and a place to hit. The Bruins stay, stay in their lanes and play discipline. You can catch a lot of people falling down after they throw those big checks. And then they're totally out of position, and you get the break at the other end of the building. Lindsman is on with Neely up front. Robinson with Svoboda. And up front, Smith and Naslin. Some open ice. Svoboda, center ice. Flips it in. Lindsman trying to clear it. Gets it to Neely. Neely plays the boards. Almost broke away. Naslin just got it. Lindsman picks it up. Lindsman is over the line. Holding. Checked. And it goes to Robinson. Robinson busting up over the line. Moves in. Broken up by Lemlin. What a magnificent play by Lemlin. And what a rush by Robinson. Robinson keeps it in now. A pass into Naslin. Naslin behind the net. Wheels it. Blocked by Kluzak. Smith at the backboards, checked by Neely, and the power play in effect. Spoboda a shot, deflected wide, man advantage, Montreal. Robinson keeps it in to Naslin, to Smith. Centering pass, Spoboda gets it. Holding the shot, deflected by Naslin and missed the net. And Kluzak able to clear it out, and the Bruins were able to get penalty killers as Neely had lost a stick in the bargain. Big chance for Montreal. They have 54 seconds left in their power play. It is Lemlin who lost his stick, and Neely gave him his stick, and he is playing with Neely's stick in the net. Lemieux keeps it in. Power play Montreal. Green a shot, deflected wide. Smith with it. Smith checked by Bork and broke it up. Chelios trying to keep it in. Bork battling in the corner. Hell by Chelios. They battle. Puck to Smith. Smith for Chelios. The shot to save Lemlin with the stick of Neely. And here is Corson wrapping Bork. And if he doesn't get a roughing, that will be amazing. After the whistle continued to belt Ray Bork, Bork moved away from him. Let's see what Newell calls here. 27 seconds left on the power play for Montreal. Stevie Casper jumped in and took Shane Corson as he was punching Bork in the back. See what Newell calls out of this. Corson going slowly uh, near the penalty box, very reluctantly going in, and he is... Another undisciplined penalty by the Montreal Canadiens. And we'll return with Bruins Hockey on TV 38 after this message. And the face-off coming up, interference on Alan Peterson, 1341 left in the first period, no score. There's Carbonell going down in front of the net. Nobody takes a better dive in this league than Carbonell. You think with his reputation, they'd know it by now. Peterson just muscle him in front. Carbono decides to fall down. And the face off now to the right of Reggie Lemley. Each team short a man in 20 seconds. A power play for Montreal. Smith is out with Darlene, Svoboda, and Robinson. The draw to Reed Larson. Gets it away to Sweeney. Sweeney, good pass over the line. Comes Johnston, the shot, the save! Big bid, Greg Johnston, first appearance. Roaring in on a pass from Sweeney, a great opportunity, and a big stop by Rawa. And now, the power play in effect. A drive, a save by Lindland on Svoboda. On the puck, Reed Larson. Marvelous play, Sweeney to Johnston. Excellent scoring bid. A hard drive by Johnston from 25 feet, a save by Rawa. Power play, Canadians. Smith over the line, holding away from Burridge. Now back Svoboda. Let's it go. Save Lemlin. Smith on it again in the corner. Gets it away for Darlene. Svoboda shot a great save by Lemlin with the left pad. Smith with it again. Back to Svoboda. 
twice he's taken shots from the blue line. His drop pass goes to center ice. A little break there, and Casper would have intercepted and uh, moved away all alone. Back it goes to Wesley. Wesley avoids a hit. A wicked belt in by Walter. Naslin gets a shot following up, drops it in front. It's skated off and breaking out for Boston. Burridge and Wesley, two and one for the moment. Off for Wesley and hopped over his stick. He might well have broken in and by Chelios. 34 seconds on the power play. Canadians start back. Left wing side. Lemieux over the line. Check. The follow up. Hitting the post is Ryan Walter. Lemieux fires it across. Walter keeps it. Break for Boston there. Puck in front. Lemieux is ridden off. Great play by Wesley. Lemieux belts Wesley. Back comes Lindsman over the line. Wesley flattens Lemieux. Lemieux puts on his act behind the play. Moving in. Lindsman almost put it home. Lemieux just clearing the zone. He put on an act and now he's back up. He belted Wesley and Wesley took him down. In deep. It is Johnston. Trying to check the play of the stop. Full strength Boston. Around the boards. The Bruins battle for it in the corner. Out of it. It is a lead. Lindsman and breaking is Johnston. Greg Johnston trying to move on Chelios. Battles over the line. Into the corner. Still battling. In deep. It is poked around the boards. Going for it. Joyce. Full strength Boston. He's on Cordick in the corner. Deep. Bruins trying to control it. Can't. Back at the point. Moving in is Larson. Stopped by Cordick. Cleared out. Breaking in the center ice. It is Thibodeau. The shot deflected wide of Lemlin. Fought for Bruins. John Blum on. Trying to clear it out. Cordick loses. Janney breaks. Three on two for the moment. Blum coming up. Janney over the line right wing. Cuts in front. Shot. Save. Rebound. Joyce can't get it. No score. 10.52 left. Back of the Boston end, it is Peterson. Peterson hit by Cordick. Larson clears it around for Neely. Rolls away. All the way back to Ludwig. What a tempo, what a pace here. No score in the game, 10.35 left in period number one. Lawler checked on the play, broken up by Crowder. Crowder over the line, holding. Trying to put it in front. Clears it in deeper for Sweeney. Sweeney trying to come out of the corner is checked. Now it moves to LeMay. LeMay puts it in front. It's knocked away. Canadians break. Luzak back. McPhee trying to roar in. Lemlin out of the net to clear it up. Not out. Wrap back in. Blocked by Lemlin. Luzak takes a hit. In deep. McPhee, Crowder. It goes around for Sweeney. Sweeney able to clear it out. Picking up the puck is Peterson. Peterson drives it away. It is icing on this play. And what action here in this Stanley Cup competition. We'll return with more playoff hockey on TV 38 after this message. Well, that Lemieux is a piece of work. He oh, belted yeah. Wesley. Wesley took him down, so he lay sprawled on the ice oh. until the Canadians from their end started back again. He finally cleared the zone. He punched him. He thought he got caught for the punch. Lead for Burridge. Burridge over the line with Casper. Casper cutting in. In. Shot. Score! Casper from Burridge to make it one nothing Boston as Casper cut for the net. Fired from 15 feet and the Bruins lead. What a play by Randy Burridge. Got tripped at the blue line. Stack kept his balance. Came in. Semi-faked a shot. Like he was going to shoot it. Then he pulled it. Made the play, play to Casper. Unbelievable. Great play by Randy Burridge. And what a shot by Casper in front. He was one on one on Roy. What the a way key he conversion. cut for the net and cut for the opening and set it up. Steve Casper, the native of Montreal, loves to right beat the there, Canadians. Burridge gets tripped. Now he's gonna he's thinking shot right here. Did a little stop with his feet. Casper makes no mistake, gets it up. A fallen Patrick Roy. And it is 1-0 Boston. The shots are 8 for Montreal, 5 for Boston. And the fifth one went in. Steve Casper from Burrard as they created a 2-1 situation. And for Boston, Janney out with Joyce on the left and Neely on the right with Bork and Kuzak. Horson is at left wing. Naslin right wing with Smith at center. Joyce clearing it up over the line. Neely trying to get it. Can't do it. Knocked away. Bork covers. Kluzak. A lead over the line. Chelios. He's checked by Joyce. Puck kept in. Jenny wheeling. Kicks it away to Joyce for a pass. Joyce can't get the shot away. And the Canadians clear it out. And a marvelous hit on Naslin. 
by Ray Bork. He just belted him down to the ice. Joyce back over the line. The play is called offside. Not too many times does, does uh, Matt Snazlin get hit. And uh, Bork caught him off balance and belted him. Ray kind of hit him and threw him at the same time. That's, Matt Snazlin was airborne for about a yard there. Chris Chelios, the guy you want to get on is Chris Chelios. 9.07 left in period number one. Boston leads one to nothing. The goal by Steve Casper from Randy Burridge. The Bruins have used uh, Blum so far in one shift, and this is the third shift for Reed Larson. Michael Talbot, of course, out of action, along with Rick Middleton. Middle Middleton with a knee injury. A bothersome shoulder for Michael Talbot. Reed Larson. Everyone, you know how smart he is. If he's, if he's skating, he'll be a force tonight. And London Byers is on the bench. He was a question mark, but he is here, uh, dressed and ready for action. But we have not seen him out there. No, he's yet. no, and it's only because he was a question mark. Lyndon Byers is here for the effect. You no, know, right now he's. You're not going to get him out of the lineup because of an injury. Lensman on the draw outside the line with uh, Carbono. Chelios gets it away to the new, uh, uh, rather, Charbonneau, and the play broken up. Charbonneau is a wing. Crowder now trying to move it over the line, and Lensman is offside. And that's a good move for the Bruins. Lensman didn't really make an effort to clear the zone. Take the whistles. Now you have the 1 0 lead. You have the lead. So what you want to do is at this point play discipline hockey. It's been a winning formula for the Bruins. Get the first goal and go from there. Boston leads it 1 0, 8.53 left in the first period. It is Charbonneau at right wing and Carbonneau at center with Walter on the left wing. Lensman taking his time. Says, I need a new stick or some tape on this one. And isn't he annoying? You're ready. You want to you get your tempo going again? I'm glad he's playing for Boston. <laughs> this is like the batter who steps out of the box. Oh, right? yeah. the, the pitcher is in his rhythm and wants to keep moving. Puts and a hand up. says, wait a minute. <laughs> Excuse me. Wesley gets the draw, clears it in. Chelios fires it out. Linsman fires it back. LeMay clears the zone, so no offside. Chelios starting it away. Works it to center ice, missed by everybody. And back for it, Reed Larson. Tremendous tempo minutes ago. And now the Bruins slow it down a bit. And here is Walter going after Linsman on the pass up off. Charbonneau deflects away to Wesley. Wesley clears it. Crowder gets it to center ice to LeMay. LeMay over the line, the shot in. Boston wants a change. And the rebound, Chelios, and he breaks it out to Carbono. Carbono over the line, the shot deflected wide of Lemlin. Back foot, Lyndon Byers. Byers trying to come out of the corner, can't. Bruins clear it up and out. Green winding up, and let's see, Frazier calling a penalty here. And with the score of Austin 1, Montreal nothing. We'll return with more Bruins hockey in just a moment. Sweeney's stick in the stands. And uh, we had, I had just mentioned prior to that, I got a penalty for that. It was a misconduct in my case. I don't know what it, it, it said. They haven't announced it yet. Chelios is in there. Apparently he took it and heaved it into the stands. And it's a uh, misconduct. He's going to go out to the room. 7.59 left in the first period. A misconduct against Chelios. Must be. For taking Bob Sweeney's stick and tossing it into the stands. Ten minute misconduct. Twenty-four. Chris Chelios, a ten minutes misconduct penalty at twelve minutes one second. Twelve oh one. Chelios misconduct. Bilingual announcements up here. That doesn't phase you at all. No, I, I picked it up. You see. <laughs> this well, minute. Of course. The reason is you committed the infraction once. I knew it was. I know it's a misconduct. <laughs> I foolishly did it in the garden one. I didn't think. I thought it was a heads up move. Referee went, no, no, no. So. The teams are at full strength, but Chelios out for the rest of the period and more. Into the Boston end. It is Neely trying to move it out. Checked by Scoodlin. Bork gets it. 
Out to Joyce. Joyce on the left wing side to Jenny. Jenny over the line. Moving far. Puts the backhander in on the net. Saved by Rowa. Not hard, but on the net and a tricky backhander. The puck is cleared, and back for it goes Raymond Bork ahead of Lemieux and icing call. Good move by Jenny, and he put it in. And the right skate of Patrick Rowa locked it. It wasn't hard, but so deceptive when you fire that backhander. Neely and uh, Scrutland going at it here. They're very tough to pick up. Patrick Roy missed it with his stick. He intended to get it with the stick. Missed it. That's when it hit his foot and the angle he was not too happy about. And icing by Montreal. 7.35 left in the first period. 1-0 Boston. Happy to have John Pearson back. He'll be analyzing this period and just not enough time for all the great plays up and down. No. What a marvelous period and the Bruins leading one nothing and since that time they have slowed the pace markedly. Yeah they have decided to just calm down here that up and uh, up and back ebb and flow. <laughs> yeah take your shot you will take one you take one is over. Chandler's Pond. Yeah Chandler's Pond that th those days are gone. Next goal a very big one both teams know that. Steve Casper has the Boston score and he taps it in deep Ludwig with it. Clears it out right on the stick of Kluzak. Wrapped back in the Canadian zone. Green winding up. He's on with Ludwig. Scrudlin up front with Lemieux on the right and McPhee. Bruins control again at center ice as the Canadians can't make a play out. Bork wraps it in. Green. Green checked in deep by Willie Plett. Taken to the corner. Casper fighting for it there. Bruins would just like to tie it up, get a face off. They do. And it is uh, Willie Plett. Ready to move there. Look like Scrudlin, who is a very aggressive player in the last game in Boston. 7.06 left. And uh, Montreal would like to create a power play situation as they continue to uh, push and, and shove. Willie Platt. Nobody McPhee. given. No one given any ground. But on the other hand, uh, no foolish penalties. Discipline is needed. Terry O'Reilly changes and sends out a line of Sweeney with LeMay on the left and Lyndon Byers on the right. Just got to admire Lyndon Byers' courage. Plays with a lot of pain. Play, he gets a lot of injuries, hands and shoulders still plays. This is a game of tempo. Montreal had a great tempo going for them. Giving up some chances for Boston the other way, but a great tempo going. And, and Boston has taken that tempo away. Well, that's when we, when we mentioned, Fred, about that taking that measure the stick penalty, taking that chance so early. Montreal really wanted that first goal. Now they've had to settle into a little bit more of a defensive game because you don't want to get down two. That goal is a big goal at this point. The shots right now are eight for Montreal, seven for Boston. It was on Boston's fifth shot. Casper scored. Sweeney on the draw. Thibodeau. Larry Robinson talking it over. What he's going to say is, I'm taking the body. One of you guys make sure one of you get in here and pick it up. Sweeney, Sweeney wins, wins, it. wins the draw. Back for Bork. Screenshot. Save. Roy. Rebound. That fires couldn't get control and fire at home. A dangerous shot in. Big stop by Roy. Sweeney checking the play. Robinson trying to move it out. The Bruins four check. And it's out to Bork, though. Bork plays it back to Kluzak. Kluzak fires it up. Into the Canadian end, all the way down to Rowa. No icing. Bruins forecheck. Byers moving on Robinson. Fell down. Around the boards. Cordic back to Robinson. Robinson hits Dahlin. Dahlin, a lead pass broken up by Bork. A marvelous play as Thibodeau broke over the line. And Bork broke it up at the Boston line. Thibodeau is back. Allowed to penetrate. In deep. Kluzak trying to wrap up Dahlin. Cordic and Sweeney go to the corner. Thibodeau there. It's up the boards. It's kept in by Green. Pass up. Stopped by Sweeney. Sweeney trying to wrap it around the boards. Neely is on. Neely trying to get it on the boards to the right of Lemlin. Thibodeau, Neely. Bruins would want a face off. They want, make, want to make line changes, and they get it with 6.04 left in the first period. And we'll return with more first period action after this message. Neely and Joyce, Larson and Wesley. Bruins slide it out. Good play by Joyce, who moved right on that one to clear it away. And Ludwig starts it back for Naslin. Naslin checked deep. And with it, Neely trying to break in. Tough angle. Cuts in front. Scores! Cam Neely breaking in on the left wing. Wheeled in front and beat Patrick Roy. A 
tremendous individual effort to make it 2 nothing Boston. Matt Snazlin got a little cocky with the puck. Got checked. Needy right on him. Just not giving him any ground. Right here, he got bad pass. That's green. He now, Green missed the pass, and Needy's got not, not much room, but he's so strong. Cuts to the front of the net. Patrick Roy down once again. Another one goes by Roy. You're going to see Brian Hayward. He's got to stay on his feet. This is twice that Cam Neely has made a play like that. He did on Chelios, and he scored the goal. That was That's the, the important thing. And that was the winner. It was the winner. And it is 2-0 Boston. Might be unassisted for Neely as he beat Naslin, then beat Green, then beat Roy. That's half the team. 2-0 Boston, 545 left in period number one. Teams are at full strength. Green clears it in. Lemlin hurries it around the boards. Crowder is hit in deep by Naslin. Kluzak gets it. Kluzak cuts in front of the net. Able to clear it up on the wing side, but LeMay falls on the puck. Dug away by the Canadians, but the whistle had blown. And now the chippiness. The Canadians want to provoke it and uh, maybe get a power play. And Montreal has not had a shot since Casper scored. And the Bruins are up to 10 shots out shooting Montreal 10 to eight. Matt Naslin chopping it. Gordy Klusak. Klusak six five. Naslin Naslin five. Naslin five six. Looks up a little silly. Gordy looked down at him like he's. What are you doing here? On the Casper goal that made it one nothing. It was a two on one break. Burridge assisting and Willie Plett also an assist. The Neely goal is unassisted to make it two nothing. And let us not overlook Willie Plett. Willie Plett has played extremely well in this series. Working, driving. He's a force out there. His reputation precedes him. He's a tough man. He's a big man. Montreal Canadiens a little leery of taking his body, and he's using his size and his weight effectively, making the cute little play, getting to get the, his line out of his own end. Very effective. And the tribute to him is he's in game condition, having played really not a full game all season long, being used as a spare part. The Bruins check it deep. It is Burridge moving into the corner. Knocked down by Lawler. Tried to tie it up. A penalty coming up on Lawler. Cross check and a power play for Boston. Here's Plett being provoked again by Corson. They're trying to get Plett out of there, trying to do anything to get a man advantage, but they have a man disadvantage now on the cross check. Lawler as he the, belted Burridge. The key is to take the punch. The original punch never gets caught. A little jab in the face, the one in the back of the head. It's the crowd reacts to it. The referee then turns and looks. It's the slash that they pick up. And Willie Plett's not using the stick. There's an example in Major League cross check on Burridge. So when that happened, immediately Corson chopped Plett. And he takes Plett out, but Willie will take Corson out. That's fine. I'll no take problem. Corson any day, sure. Corson's a penalty killer, too. Without Chelios out there, he's also a penalty killer. Boston leads 2 0, 509 left in the first period. Boston has outshot Montreal 10 to 8. And the Boston scores by Steve Casper and Neely. Right there, a little high stick on each other. Lower part of your screen on the right hand right, side. Yeah. Platt and Corson. But it is a power play for Boston now. And for the Bruins, Janny Joyce and Neely with Larson and Bork. Once again, you got to remember some big saves Reggie Lemelin made, especially that poke check on Larry Robinson. Who's <laughs> notoriously slow start as Lemelin holds him in. Then they get one, get another one. Now it's a game. And now the faceoff coming up to the right of Patrick Rowan. Walter against Janney. Bork, Larson up inside the line, of course. Right back to Bork. Makes a good play to control it along the line. Gets it to Larson. Larson holding back for Bork. Bork, a shot deflected wide. In the corner, Janney plays it to Neely. Neely behind the net with Joyce. Now it plays it back. Left point to Bork. Bork holding back for Larson. Tip pass to Janney. Slow to come to him. Janney gets it in. Looks for a return pass. Gets it. Moves it in. A save by Roa. As Janney moved for the net on the short side. And Roa got the left pad out. Ruins keep it in. Pass across in front. Knocked away. Now Neely gets it to Janney behind the net. Janney trying to put it in front. Green with it. Trying to clear it out. It goes to Bork. Left point. Cuts back along the line. 
Still holds. Now to Larson. Larson closing. Trying to move it all the way across. It didn't work. Cleared out by the Canadians. Bruins trying to make that careful play to the defenseman or a forward. And it didn't work. Around the boards. Rowout lost it. Nearly trying to cut in. Can't do it. Ludwig able to clear it out by Raymond Bork. Minute left on the Boston power play. 4.07 left in this, the first period. For the Bruins, good for checking by Scrudlin. Annoying Ken Lensman. And here comes Bork, center ice, the clear in. Into the corner. Crowder trying to break it up. Does. Battles for it. Behind the net. Sweeney also moving. Sweeney hooks a man. And Boston <laughs> loses Sweeney. He goes out. 35 seconds left on Lawless penalty. And the Bruins have to avoid that because in 35 seconds, Montreal will have a power play. And with the score of Boston 2 and Montreal nothing, we'll return with more Bruins hockey in just a moment. And the faceoff is just outside the Montreal blue line. 3.44 left in the first period. Sweeney is out. He joins Lawler in the penalty box, and Lawler will be out in 35 seconds. Greg Johnston called up from the Maine Mariners. Had the first good scoring opportunity. Played a lot of hockey last year for the Bruins. Has been with Maine all season long. First time called up. Great moment for Greg Johnston, but he's got experience, and Kuzak rushes over the line. The shot goes wide. Mola May trying to drop it back. Can't do it. Mola May fights for it on the boards now as Johnston can't get it. And Johnston, who is a penalty killer, by the way, that's one of the main reasons they brought him up. The Canadians now starting back. Over the line, McPhee. McPhee is shot, kicked out by Lemon. And the net dislodged in a collision as Kuzak went wrapped, wrapped into the net by Scrudland. And the uh, Bruins keep their cool. There is no indication of a penalty. Uh, Kluzak now challenging uh, Scrudland. Casper scored from Burridge at 10.20. Since that time, and we have 3.12 left in the period, we've had uh, about seven or eight minutes played. The Canadians have not had a shot on Reggie Lemlin. They had eight shots up there. In fact, well before it. Steve Casper scored. I would say in 10 minutes of play, the Canadians have not had a shot on Lemlin when they stormed the Boston end with eight shots in the early minutes of play. Why? Might, might be a little bit of a coaching error. You're going to say, okay, withdraw, bad, you know, play defense, wait for the chances. But, you know, when you're carrying the play like they were, they were just flying. I wouldn't give that up that early in the game. Keep that up. But they've elected to go into a kind of a shell and try to protect uh, their own goal. And wait for the breaks. Then Neely's great individual effort makes it 2 nothing. A little bit of a hole right now. Bruins get the next goal. However, Montreal about to operate on the power play. Burridge able to clear it in the Montreal zone. Lawler is out. 120 left on the Montreal power play. Three minutes left in period number one, 2 nothing Boston. Canadians break at the center ice. Lawler drives it in. Ricochets all the way around. Walter going for it. Casper, the big play. Casper backhands it out. Naslin winding up. Forced back by Burridge. His pass off now for Robinson to McPhee. McPhee, the drop pass. Puck fed in. Behind the net, Peterson there. Peterson checked into the corner. Battles for it. It is Pabota getting it to Naslin. Very tricky in this position. Naslin gets it back to Pabota. Over to Robinson. Robinson, a screenshot wide behind the net, fought for, belted around the boards, and Naslin gets it again. Again, Svoboda. Again, Robinson, right side. Now Naslin working in, blocked. A big play by Alan Peterson. And Casper plays it around the boards. Big play by Peterson. Peterson checked by McPhee, goes into the corner, falls on the puck, and ties it up. And you won't find a better play than Alan Peterson blocking Naslin's bid. And there are 24 seconds left on the Montreal power play. 2.08 left in the first period. That shot by Naslin, that goal written all over it. He took his time. He picked his spot. He was just about to nail it. Alan Peterson elected to drop down and block it. And now the faceoff to the left of Lemlin. Boston leads 2-0. Steve Casper and Cam Neely, the scores. New Jersey in front of Washington, 1-0. After one period of play, and that game is in Washington. It's a two out of three series, really, and Washington with the home ice advantage, but right now New Jersey 
the surprise team of the National Hockey League leading 1-0. In case you missed it, Edmonton, here is the play. Allen that, Peterson. That pass to Scrutland would have been OK. Face off coming up to the left of Lemlin. A little problem with the ice about 20 feet inside the Montreal uh, Boston blue line and Collins takes care of that but the Bruins get a respite and a break here on the Montreal power play Smith against Lindsman and this year Ken Lindsman has been an added feature as a penalty killer oh, for yeah. the Boston Bruins anyone that can skate as well as Lindsman can kill penalties he knows this game well enough Lemieux angered by Kluzak the draw for Bork Bork checked immediately by Darlene now Lemieux with it. Lemieux for Smith. Smith holding. Luzak and Lemieux collide, and the fans wanted a little call there. It's into Darlene. He's checked. It goes in deep to Smith. Now back for Darlene. Back to the point. Now cross for Robinson, and a shot missed. The long rebound kept in Svoboda. Bruins get the man back. Trying to get in the action now. It goes across for Smith. Broken up by Bork, not cleared out. Robinson keeps it in. Goes in deep to Smith. Smith checked by Bork in the corner. Bork gets it. Tries to clear. Can't do it. Robinson keeping it in. Robinson up to Smith again. Pass across in front. Lemieux checked. Darlene trying to get it. Bruins able to cover it up. And that was dangerous. Lemieux almost got his stick on it. The Bruins hemmed in, not organized, as they got the man back. Bob Sweeney was in the right position and anticipated Robinson's pass, but like Dick Stewart's Dr. Strange glove there on first base, he dumped it out. Bobby missed it, went through the web, went through the thumb and the, the forehand and the fingers. And this is the result. Reggie Lemon, and he just tucked it, and Reggie stuck his hand out and held on to it. But Bob Sweeney took out Lemieux for his trouble. That is the first Montreal shot in about 12 minutes. And that wasn't really, that was just a scramble, helter-skelter. And 1.18 left in the first period, 2-0 Boston. The shots now list 10 for Boston, 9 for Montreal. And the Bruins, Steve Casper and Cam Neely have scored. Now the officials over. Montreal's got a penalty here. Or no. is it misconduct? Misconduct, maybe. Lemieux was in the penalty box, and now he's... Waved to the dressing room. He'll join Chelios there with 118 left. Have a face-off in the Boston zone. There is nothing on the board to indicate that the Bruins will have a power play. So Phil Esposito, whose number was retired, the number seven, given by Raymond Bork, who had worn it gloriously for many years and now wears number 77. And Phil Esposito will be interviewed by Derek Sanderson. Isn't that a treat? I, I understand that he's going to interview you. Probably. <laughs> Face off now to the left of Lemlin. 118 left. First period. Corson and Casper goes to Wesley. The Bruins have been winning those face-offs around the boards. Neely slides it up. Janney has it. Janney breaks two and two with Joyce. Uh, Casper it is over the line looking for Joyce in front. It is blocked. That was Casper on for the face-off in place of Janney. And the Canadians come back. The clear in. Lemlin able to drop it off, but Kordick there to get it. Kordick in the corner, battling Janney, and now Corson in front of the net with Larson. And Corson is knocked down, and Larson is going out. Well, that is pretty bad for Reed Larson. If, if the Bruins are going to be shorthanded here, a confrontation, the whistle had stopped the action, the two confronting each other, and he knocked down Corson. And that's, uh, unless Corson goes out with him. That's the only thing I'm thinking. I think he got them both, but that would have been a great uh, well power play, you know, for the Bruins at this point. It is roughing. I'm sure he called an extra one on Larson. And Reed would have to keep his cool. That, that is a bad penalty to take in this situation. Wesley got high stick, then a punch in the face. That's going to be the original penalty, I think. If he didn't, if he didn't miss it. Now right here, Larson punches him back for his trouble. A little right hook there. <laughs> that turnabout's fair play. Well, matching penalties. Okay. As long as you're matching, we can live with that. No problem, Reed. He he just got back for Wesley being belted by Corson. 
So the teams will play at full strength. So often, like the official, you many times just see the last incident, not the first one. Well, Wesley was down there for a reason. He fell like a stone, so although it's in the corner of your eye, you got to say some infraction occurred. Casper says the faceoff is outside the line, and, and Frazier agrees with him. He said, oh, yeah, okay, Stevie, you're right. Forgot about that. Now Montreal's all bent out of shape. What are you doing to us here? 56 seconds left in period number one. Boston leads on goals by Steve Casper and Cam Neely. Carbino on the faceoff with Casper. Casper is out with Neely on the right and Joyce on the left. Canadians break it over the line. Ludwig trying to move in. Broken up by Bork. Not cleared out. Kept in. Ludwig on the boards. Away the shot by Thibodeau. It's blocked. Lawler with it. Lawler at the point. Cross for Ludwig. Ludwig tees it up. Great save. And the clear marvelous save by Reggie Lemlin on Ludwig. 35 seconds left in the period. A superb stop on Ludwig. Bruins break it up inside the Canadian line. Casper, who scored the first goal. Everywhere, 24 seconds left. Janney replaces Casper. Plett is out now. And the Canadians start it back. Again, it is Ludwig. Over the line, he connects with Carbono. Carbono broken up. Janney tripped as he tried to cut away. No call. They let it go. Cortex spilled him in front of the Boston net. Four seconds left in the period. Canadians play it back to Carbono in the back checking of... Jenny stopped him right at the siren, ending the first period. Boston with 11 shots, and Montreal with 10. The Boston scores by Steve Casper on the breakout by Randy Burridge. As we look at the Bruins, and they've got to be pleased with their uh, performance. The excellent period of hockey. They skated with the Canadians the first 10 minutes, uh, you know, thrust for thrust, and chance for chance they got the first one and shut Montreal down after that set to go in period number two two incidents will long be discussed uh, the stick throwing of Chelios getting the 10 minute misconduct taking well, the stick of Sweeney and then Lemlin's being measured and not successfully well you gotta you gotta say that Canadians are literally trying to take the sticks out of the Bruins hands <laughs> all right underway in period number two the teams are at full strength and Naslin is on good pass over the line for McPhee McPhee a backhander in a save by Lemlin not hard couldn't get good wood on it puck around the boards still battling for it Naslin Naslin Casper broken up Casper broke him up try to move it out Naslin gets it again to McPhee into the corner Scrudlin going for it he likes to throw a punch at Bork Naslin wheels a shot but misses by a wide margin Willie Plett able to clear it out quickly Green wraps it back in. Chelio still has about a couple of minutes left on his misconduct. Bruins work it carefully out of lead. Ray Bork breaks away from Burridge into the Canadian end. Back for it, Green. The lines change. 2-0 Boston. First minute of the play. Second period. Breaking Robinson. A pass up now. And Thibodeau gets it for Carbonell. The shot is wide as Kuzak tried to block it. Canadians keep it in. Ludwig out at the left point. Carbono wheels it back to Ludwig. Ludwig, a pass in. Looking for Robinson. It's broken up by Wesley and cleared. Robinson was a fourth forward there. No question about it. The Canadians down by two will be doing that. And the Bruins could get some breaks. Wesley clears, but Ludwig has it. It's right back in over the head of Lemlin. The rebound is Wesley. Wesley up the boards, trying to set up the play on the boards. But Carbono battles to keep it in. Along with Joyce. Back for it goes Neely. Around the other side, the Canadians keep it in. Ludwig intercepted by Kluzak and a quick clear out for Boston. Bruins have to get their forechecking going now, but now they make a change and Robinson catches the open ice. Barrels over the line, goes deep, tries to cut in, checked by Crowder and Kluzak. Kluzak gets the puck. Kluzak just moves it out on a break. One and one. Crowder and Spoboda. Crowder trying to cut in. Spoboda stopped him. The puck to the corner. Fought for Lindsman with it. Lindsman for LeMay. The shot is blocked. Canadians break it out. It is Darlene, right wing side. Drop pass at the line for Naslin. They're double shifting Naslin. Cleared away. Here comes Lindsman, but he can't get it. It goes to Rawa. He's able to clear it away. Almost a breakaway by Ken Lindsman. Could not catch up with the puck. An errant pass by Green. Back for it, Ray Bork. 
for checking Smith. Bork gets it up to Sweeney. 2 0 Boston. Sweeney left wing over the line, penetrates, trying to put it in front, looking for Baez, but he collects his own pass in the corner to Baez behind the net. Try to put it in front, block, green, checked by Byers, Darlene, checked by Joyce, but the Canadians get it. Svoboda to Smith. Off for Darlene, he's forced back by Joyce. Bruins, Lyndon Byers, clear, clearing the puck in. Three minutes played, second period, 2-0 Boston. First period scores by Steve Casper and Cam Neely. Winding up, Smith breaks away from Joyce. Barreling, center ice, over the line, flying. Moves in, puts it in front. It's deflected away, and Darlene is hauled down. The fans want to call, and there is none. And breaking out is Willie Plett, left wing side. Clears it in the Canadian end. Good rush by Plett. Canadians a long pass up, and the Bruins check it at center ice. On the puck, Bork. Bork over the line. Bork going deep. Try to put it in front. It hit escape. Carbono starts it back out with Cordic. Broken up by the back checking of Raymond Bork. Marvelous play by Bork. At the Boston line, the puck trickles over the line to Ray Bork. Bork drives it out to Willie Plett, right wing center ice. Fed back in the Canadian end. Boston changing up, but Burridge is still out there. Four minutes played, second period, 2-0 Boston. McPhee, a shot wide. Deflects into the stands, the faceoff called outside the line. A break in the action. Let's pause for this message. Willie Plett for holding and it's the second power play of this period for the Montreal Canadiens. Face off will be in the Boston end. Bruin scores in the first period by Steve Casper and by Cam Neely. And for Montreal, Smith is out with Darlene and Lemieux on the wings, Robertson and Chelios. Chelios at the right point has a lot of moves drives it's deflected by Lemlin into the stands he got a piece of it and uh, correction it went right into the stands it was high and the faceoff called outside the line a break for Boston there four seconds elapsed on the power play for Montreal right here there's a little deflection in front of the net it had to hit something Fred when the original shot was on, his, on its way Lemlin went to catch it it just hit something on the way in and now Casper on the draw with Bobby Smith. Bork is out with Kluzak. On the puck, Chelios. Clears it in. Back first goes Raymond Bork, stops, backhands, and lofts it out to the Canadian end. Casper is on with uh, Burridge, Kluzak, and Bork. Dalene hangs around way up at the line. Chelios away to Robinson. On the wing over the line, Smith trying to get it. Is hauled down. They let it go. No call there. He was hooked down by Raymond Bork. He looks at uh, Frazier, uh, or rather Newell, the referee. He is not going to uh, call that one and give the Montreal Canadiens a two-man advantage with 124 left on the Canadian power play. That was a break. That was a hooking penalty. Not one to send any team two men down. I don't know. You got to question that philosophy if it's a legitimate call. But the Bruins are getting the breaks. The puck's bouncing for them. They're thinking positive. They don't look like they're they're skating at this point. But what they're doing is they're they're defensively taking the percentage options and trying to shut the Canadians down. They got to stay out of the penalty box, however. Can't be keep on getting penalties for holding or whatever. A continuous parade to that box is going to be. Walter and Lisbon, the draw to Robinson, back for Chelios. Chelios has to chase the pass. Now to Robinson, the shot missed the net. The long rebound is cleared away by Lindsman. 1-12 left on the Canadian power play there. Second in this period, the Bruins haven't had any, and Bruins lead 2-0. Chelios clears it in around the boards. Peterson going for it, and Johnston called up from the main Mariners. A drive by Chelios to save the puck loose. Walter can't get a handle to it. Gets it behind the net, though. Gives it off to Naslin now. And it's back to Chelios. That was close. Now for Naslin. To Chelios again. The clearing for Robinson, who has moved way up. Wrapped away by Bork. 
can't clear it out. Chelios keeps it in. 35 seconds left on the power play. Peterson, a good play, clears it around. Lindsman goes for it, wheels, and drives it out. Very smart play by Lindsman. Heads up, body play by Lindsman going against the grain and opting to turn around his forehand. 20 seconds on the power play, and the Canadians break it into center ice. Thibodeau going deep, checked by Kluzak into the corner. Corson, Wesley going for it. Wesley trying to clear it around. Can't do it. Can't knock it out. But it's deflected away by Burridge. Burridge trying to break with Casper over the line, shorthanded. Gets it to Casper. Casper in. Scores! Casper set up by Burridge to make it 3 nothing. His second goal of the night. A brilliant rush by Burridge and Casper. What a play by Stevie Casper. That's two. And Randy Burridge fought very hard. He fought off a Canadian to get it to Casper. But you're going to watch great body position on Casper. He struggled the entire way in from center ice fighting for leverage. And he gets the opportunity. When he gets in cold, he, then he pauses and decides to go left with it. Right there's the tip by Burridge that saved the day. Now Burridge is going out. You're going to have Scrudlin trying to take him. And he dumps it across. There's Casper fighting all the way. Sobota just not strong enough. Rua down again prematurely. Big goal for Stevie Casper and the Bruins. In effect, that was a shorthanded goal. It isn't on the board that way, but the Bruins at the end of the penalty made that rush, and Steve Casper gets his second of the night to make it 3 0 Boston. Bruins importantly killed off the second power play for the Montreal Canadiens. 3 0 Boston. Kordick winding up. Now winding up is Thibodeau. Thibodeau was on the ice on that last play, could not get back. And now Mole LeMay trying to put one on net. Blocked by Lawler. Goes deep. And Roa can't get it. Fighting for it. Crowder, he's wrapped up. And Kordick starts it back. At center ice, stopped by Wesley. Wesley clears it in. The Bruins clear the zone. 9-15 left in the second period. Boston in front, 3-0. Pass to Kordick. Looked offside. Not called. Back comes Neely. And over the line comes Joyce in a shot. The rebound in front. Jenny was taken down. Couldn't get it. Joyce put that right on. A shot here and a save. Joyce with it behind the net. Wheeled it in front. And it rolled across the crease. Neely pokes it in deep. Back for it. Green. Around the boards. McPhee trying to come out. Clears it away. Scrudlin racing for it. And Peterson. Peterson into the corner. Jams it in. Gets the puck. Loses now to Lemieux who followed up. Lemieux for Ludwig. A shot block. A big breakout for Boston. Coming hard. It is Janney over the line. Stops. Pulls. Looks for an opening. Now cuts back, fires, and that's a save by Roa. Kicked it wide. Beautiful play by Janney. He stopped, let them all race by him, and then fired it in. Back comes Ludwigs, driving it in. 3 0 Boston beyond the halfway mark, second period. Joyce clears it out too far ahead of Janney. Or he might have had a clean break in. He'd have gone for it had Peter Svoboda not been in position coming off the bench. Another offside pass by the Canadians. Two lines. They let it go. The Bruins forechecking here. Lindsman is out and Crowder. And the Canadians start it back. A lead. There's another one by Chelios. Looked offside to Carbono. Bruins break it back. Now it's stopped by Svoboda. Robinson starting back from the Montreal end. 7.45 left. Second period. Boston leads it. 3-0. Bruins clear it to center ice. Trying to move on it. Can't. Lensman battles for it. Loose puck. And it's LeMay dropping it in the zone. Quick changes by Terry O'Reilly. Robinson winding up. Bias. Four checking. Robinson sweeps away. Clears it in wide. Lemlin out of the net trying to wrap it away. And Bias couldn't break with it. Larson gets it. Drops it off in the corner. The Canadians fight. Keep it in. A drive. A pad saved by Lemlin on Carbono. Puck kept in by Green. Bork can't get it. Walter behind the net. Rolls it back in front. Green pokes it to Thibodeau. Rolled away. And the Bruins break it out. Sweeney in the center ice. Two on two. Over the line. Holding makes it. Now to Larson. Larson cuts in. Can't get the shot away. He moved within 20 feet. And the puck cleared to center ice. And the Bruins right back to cover it. Willie Plett drives it back in the Montreal in. 6.44 left. Period number two. Boston leads 3-0. Two goals by Steve Casper. Bruins break it up inside the line. That's Casper, but he can't convert. Robinson, a pass up center ice. But cutting back for it is Corson. 
Now the play broken up by Plett, driven back in the Montreal end. Three nothing Boston. You can hear the fans there. Annoyed that the Canadians can't mount an attack, but that's the Bruins. Casper breaks up Lawler, and then the puck deflects all the way to the Boston line, and Kluzak gets it right back to Casper. Has two goals already. Casper drops it in. Plett moves in. Roy slides it around the boards, but too far ahead of Corson, and able to cover it just coming on is Ray Bork. Winding up now, Burridge. Burridge trying to break for an opening. Puck is cleared in by Lindsman, who just came on. Rick Green into center ice. A long pass eludes everybody, but it's not icing. Lemlin realizes that and lets it go to Alan Peterson. All the way up to LeMay, and this will be called for icing. And with the score of Austin 3 and Montreal nothing, we'll return with more Bruins hockey in just a moment. No, Burridge deflected it. Yeah. Burridge picked it up. That second goal by Casper came at even strength, as we indicated. Uh, but in effect, was shorthanded. The Bruins were just getting the man back. Just barely on the ice when they went in the net. So it had time expired just a second off. No, no Bruin could get in the play to assist it in any way. But the rule is once the penalty's up, that's that, whether the player's in or not. Thibodeau on the faceoff. Lensman wins it for Ray Bork. Bork clears it around, going for Thibodeau, Crowder, Spoboda trying to put it on net. It's deflected away, and the Canadians keep it in. Darlene across in front, and a marvelous and a score on the follow-up by Kordick. Kordick got it loose as Lemlin had tied it up, and Kordick puts the Canadians on the board, 3-1. to one. John Kordick not playing him. He got a big goal for him the other night, a big assist. Thibodeau had wrapped it in. Lemlin seemingly had it trapped, but he did not, and Kordick was able to wrap it home. Pretty hard. Right here play. goes around. It's a harmless play at this point. Let Richie checks them. Bounces in the air. Gordy Kluzek just a little bit out of position to field a bouncing puck too far back of the net. Tried to get a stick on it. That's a stretch of six five pick of two guys swing at it one goes in and that brings the fans alive and makes it three to one. The Bruins got to get the next goal. First score by the Canadians. And Thibodeau gets it away to Darlene with Portic. Darlene breaks in a save by Lemlin. He walked right in on the right wing side. Puck out of Ludwig. The shot goes over the net. Bruins fight for it. Trying to move it out. Robinson able to keep it in. Locked. Bruins clear it away in the center ice. Darlene walked in, turned the defense, and Lemlin made a magnificent stop. Robinson broken up. Joyce coming back. Poked away by Robinson before he can get the shot off. Larson's pass goes in wide of Roy. Boston leads 3-1. to one. Two goals by Casper, one by Neely. Kordick scoring. This could be icing. Lemlin elects to play it. Gets it up to Burridge. Burridge looking for Casper. Casper breaks. Picking up Plett. Over the line. It's stopped. Casper gets it. In the Burridge. Burridge wheels, shoots, misses the net. Great chance. Casper set him up. Casper fighting in deep. Ball down by Chelios. Plett, Burridge, poke it in deep. Svoboda with it. Chelios, force back. McPhee breaks with Lemieux. McPhee over the line. With Scrudlin. Locked. Puck fought for on the boards. Lemieux keeps it in. Broken up. Chelios moves in. Chelios into the corner. Trying to put it in front. Hit behind the net. Lemieux fighting for it. Centered. Knocked away. Bruins clear it out. 3.45 left. Period number two. Three to one Boston. Cordick from Thibodeau. At center ice. Loose puck. Picked up. Break in Baez. Baez going deep. Checked off the play. Fights for it in deep. Chelios trying to move it out. The Bruins get it. And a shot and a save. A big one on LeMay by Roy. Puck kept in by Byers. Broken up. And Lemieux starts it back. 
Now to Carbono. Carbono drops it in. Is hauled down. No call. Fought for. Carbono gets it in front. A backhander missed the net by Charbonneau. And LeMay trying to clear it out. Stopped. Fed back in. Big save on Carbono by Lemlin. Fought for in the corner. Carbono in front. Lola can't get it as he cut for the net. LeMay checks him. The Canadians going all out here. Baez breaks it up. Goes to Carbono. Pass up. Blocked by Baez. Fights Green for it on the boards. Puck is kept in by the Canadians. Now pinned by Sweeney. Now goes to Kluzak. Kluzak skates it off and ices it. And that was a ton of pressure by the Montreal Canadiens. And we'll return with more second period action after this message. Reggie Lemlin makes his big move here. He's, uh, he's called a little timeout on himself and allowed it by Frazier and uh, saying that he's uh, shaken up. So Reggie has done this before. Yes, Reggie's very good at this. He's an actor in all of us, I think. Uh, takes a little drink. Well, what he says is, let's get organized, fellows. We, uh, we've got to get this uh, puck down to the Montreal and uh, not have it buzzing around in our zone. 2.31 left in period number two. Just a great save there by Lemelin on that replay. And it buzzed around the net a little bit. Reggie held the fort. Another positive sign for the Bruins. Amazing how that goal by Kordak picks up the fans and the Montreal Canadiens, but we've seen that happen before. And the fans are chanting away. Smith over to get a new stick, and the faceoff will be to the right of Lemlin. Larson is on defense with uh, Bork. Rookies out there, Gianni, Joyce, Neely. The draw one for Ludwig. Cross for Chelios. He missed it. And out comes Neely. And the Bruins coming up. Neely over the line. Shot. A save. A big one by Roa. He drilled that right on. Puts it in front. Knocked away by the Canadians. Not out. Back at the line. Kept in by Raymond Bork. Fired up in the corner. Gianni for checking. Chelios cuts away. Ludwig sends Corson away on the right wing. Crisscrossing with Smith. Smith trying to move it in front. It's knocked in front and skated off by Ray Bork just in front of Corson, and he clears it out. Under two minutes left. And an injured Canadian inside the line, Naslin, just That's knelt Naslin down. Knocked down. And the play was called offside when the Canadians brought it back in from center ice. With the score of Austin 3, Montreal 1, we'll return with more Bruins hockey in just a moment. New Jersey leads Washington 2-0 in their game. Thibodeau on the faceoff. This line was out. Thibodeau got an assist on the goal by Kordick. First score by the Canadians in a long stretch. Svoboda wraps it in. Back first goes Kluzak. Crowder. They're pinned on the boards. And finally the whistle. And Little high sticking Lindsman and uh, Kordick. 142 left. The faceoff is to the right of Reggie Lemlin. The shots are 17 Montreal, 16 for Boston. That's 16th. A good scoring chance by Cam Neely. He blasted it from the left wing side. Roa came up with the stop. Bruins had an opportunity there with Joyce. Just couldn't get the puck away. The shot on net. Bruins got to pick it up a little bit. Think a little more offense. For the Canadians, they're going with Thibodeau, the rookie, called up from the minors. Darlene at left wing and Kordick at right wing. Svoboda and Robinson. And plenty of time before the faceoff, and the Bruins will take that. Thibodeau against Lensman. Lensman taking his time, dropping the stick. He likes a little conversation in there, which is very distracting. Thibodeau went for a shot and missed the net right away, knowing that Lindsman would be drawing. Behind the net, Darlene in to get it. Rolls around the corner, still has it. Stops, cuts, puts it back in front. Thibodeau a shot, missed the net. Kordick keeps it in. Pressure by the Canadians. Their defense way up. Bruins finally get it. Lindsman pops it in the air to center ice. 120 left in this. The second period, 3-1 to one Boston, two goals by Casper, missed pass, and LeMay can't get it. Winding up now, Larry Robinson. 
Crowder forechecking. Bruins trying to contain the Canadians. 107 left in the period. Robinson, the big strides, drives it in. Ricochets around. LeMay is back. He takes the hit. Bruins able to clear it out. Under a minute left in the period. Robinson drives it back. Bounces around. Bruins tap it up near the Canadian line. And it's wrapped in by Crowder, and Terry O'Reilly makes a quick change. 45 seconds left in the period. Burridge is out there. A long pass into the Boston zone. Wesley gets it. An errant pass there by Wesley. He had plenty of time to make a careful play, carry it out. Any other option but clearing it down. And he cleared it to the Montreal end, and it is called for icing. Now they're getting into a little push and shove, punch and Judy show here. Speaking of Judy, Judy Pranka, Amesbury Travel. Just a super operation that is. It took care of us again this trip. Dan's here. The whole crew from Amesbury Travel is here tonight. Must be nice, Dave. Eh? You got a travel agency, you can go to all the Bones Road games. Well, that's right. At least get seats. <laughs> At least get seats. The shots are 17 Montreal, 16 for Boston. The faceoff in the Boston end to the left of Lemlin. Scrudland is out there with McPhee on the right and Demieux on the left with Chelios and Green. 34 seconds left in this period. Steve Casper, two goals. Cam Neely, one. Kordick for Montreal. Canadians win it. McPhee shot a save by Lemlin. Short side. Rebound around. Kluzak with it. Able to clear it out. On the right wing side to Bob Sweeney. Sweeney wraps it in the Canadian end. Back for it, Green, 20 seconds left. The Bruins forecheck, slow it down. Green trying to wheel it out. Bruins break it up. That was Casper driving it back deeper. 15 seconds left. On the other side, Burridge going for it. Can't get it. Lemieux starts it back. Nine seconds left. Lemieux clears it all the way around the Boston zone. Sweeney deflects it to Bork. Bork able to clear it out, and that'll do it. So period number two ends. With Boston getting a big score, his second of the game by Steve Casper. And Montreal coming to life after being well contained by the Bruins on the goal by Kordick. Oh, I think it's a foolish time, John. I think it would really, uh, Esposito and I had talked about it, and Phil felt the same. I think the Canadians were looking to get that first goal as probably the most important goal, and that was the problem there. They didn't get it. I would have taken it later. Sure. I think what I think the goal that Montreal got uh, concerned them a little bit. I think they tightened up a little bit, but I am thoroughly impressed with the way Janney is playing and uh, you know Sweeney and Wesley. I think they're all playing very well. They're holding their composure, and I think that uh, they've got good command of their uh, their attitude. Set to go now in the third period. Boston leads three to one. New Jersey uh, leads Washington two nothing in their game. Scrudland is out there with McPhee on the left side. Casper, Plett, and Burridge. Truly an amazing story. Willie Plett, regular shift with Casper and Burridge, assisted on the first goal. Scrudland trying to break over the line. Back foot is Wesley. Wesley able to clear it out to Platt. Good break here, three on two. To Casper in the middle, he lost his helmet. Back for Platt. Platt a shot, save! Big shot by Platt. Good wrist shot, right arm. Canadians back, Scrudland. Over the line, looking for McPhee. Broken up by Casper, playing without his helmet. He has two goals, he gets another three on two. Over the line with Burridge. Off for Burridge. Burridge, shot blocked by Chelios, went wide. Canadians giving up the three on twos to attack. Here comes Chelios, four men up. Lemieux, saved by Lemlin, and that was a scorching drive. Wesley trying to clear it out, can't. Kept in by Lemieux. Lemieux broken up. And with it, Janney. Janney broke him up. He's coming down Ludwig, he's all alone. Trying to cut in one-on-one, -on -one, and he's taken off the play. Bruins held back there, checked, thinking defensively. And back for it is Bob Joyce at center ice. Now to Bork. Bork to Janney to Neely, right wing side, pulls his shot. Now fires, and a blocker save. Puck loose, Janney trying to get it, pokes it to the corner. Neely in the battle for it. Ludwig is hit, Neely out in front, blocked. Joyce flattened as he tried to move it in front. Scramble, Rawa able to tie it up. 
as the Bruins make a bid for goal number four at the crease. Break in the action. Let's pause for this message. The Canadians are attacking with four men, sometimes five. That's, that can leave them open to some serious mistakes. The Bruins capitalize, pick off an errant pass. They're going to be in on Rua. Errant, errant pass. Errant pass, sorry. It's all right. I was thinking we in French. Make... I was thinking in French, Fred. Right. Errant is good. Puck is driven into the stands on a face-off call as Kluzak drove it. And the face-off at center ice. When in Montreal, think as... When in Rome, do as the Romans, right? 18-23 left, period number three. Boston leads three to one. Two goals by Casper, one by Neely. Kordick for the Montreal Canadiens. Lindsman with LeMay and Crowder. On the Kordick goal, Thibodeau and Darlene have the assist. It came at 14.35 in the second period and really brought the fans alive. Casper had made it 3-0. Long one up for Carboneau. Interception by Lo Mo LeMay on Charbonneau. Canadians wind up again. Walter now to Carboneau. Flipped in wide of Lemlin. Back first is Kluzak. Up the boards. Mo LeMay. LeMay knocked down, guts it, got it outside, and Larson able to wrap it in wide of Patrick Roy. Boston changes up. And a good play by Lensman, who stayed on. He popped it in, and with it, Burridge, Burridge tried to put it in front. An open net possibility for Boston Linden Byers, but he couldn't get it to him. Alan Peterson drives it in all the way on Roy. Winding up is Green. Three to one, Boston. Canadians break it out. Charbonneau flips it in. He wants a line change. Back goes Bork. He's hit by Corson. Byers flattened by, not flattened, but hit by Smith. Bruins able to clear it out. Byers took that check well. Smith lined him up from way out. Svoboda wraps it back in. Byers hauled down Corson on the corner. Bork knocks it behind the net. Naslin there. Naslin checked by Peterson. Smith checked by Sweeney. Corson checked by Bork. Interception by Sweeney. Sweeney backhands it out. Spoboda winding up. Sweeney is out with Burridge. Neely. Well, the line's changing here. Naslin rushing. The pass in. Floats deep for Kluzak. Kluzak dropped it off, and Naslin hustles in, gets it. Puts it across in front. Chelios drives one. Locked by Peterson. Peterson checked by Smith. Smith behind the net. Checked by Peterson. Kluzak gets it. Drops it up on the side, but not out. Svoboda able to keep it in. A centering pass. Naslin pass in front. Locked on the puck. It is Smith behind the net. Off in the corner. The pass back. The drive here. The save by Lemlin. The puck knocked to the boards by Neely. Pressure by the Canadians. Heavy. And now Sweeney skates it out. Gets a break with Neely. Ahead for Neely. Neely trying to cut in. Hold on. Gets it again. He's in. He scores! Cam Neely from Bob Sweeney makes it 4-1 on a breakaway. With 15, 54 left in the third period. The second goal of the night by Cam Neely. What a break that is for the Boston Bruins. Cam Neely just hard work. Muscled his way. Thought it popped it out. A couple of big saves by Lemelin. And once again, Reggie Lemelin gives birth to a breakaway opportunity for Neely. Made no mistake, one of that. A patent Neely move here. Gets punched up to him. Once again, Peter Svoboda, he was the one caught. Rua down too early. Telegraphed he was going down. Watch him go down, and Neely goes upstairs. Big goal for the Bruins. Cam Neely, love to see him get hot. Bob Sweeney sent him away. He'll assist. And it is four to one Boston. Steve Casper with two goals. Cam Neely with two. Kordick from Montreal. Heavy, heavy pressure by Montreal. Buzzing around the Boston net. And then the breakout. Puck cleared back in. Wesley gets it away to Bork. Bork to Crowder. The Crowder clear will be icing. 15.40 left in the third period. And with the score of Austin 4, Montreal 1, let's pause for this message. Canadians put out the line that scored their lone goal, Thibodeau, Kordick, and Dalin. Right here, the fake shot and the quick pass. 
goes goes the rep uh, by everybody. Broken play. Peterson made a super play there. Lens been on the faceoff with Thibodeau. 1540 left, third period, four to one Boston. Bork and Kluzak out there. Casper is out in case Lensman gets waved out of backup by Terry O'Reilly. And the Bruins break it out. Crowder checked all the way. Works it to center ice. Blocked. Lensman gets it. Now Crowder. Crowder over the line, but Casper is moving out. LeMay replaces him. That's the regular line used by O'Reilly. LeMay at left wing. Canadians coming back. They tip it in. Thibodeau is hauled down by LeMay. In deep, Bork is flattened. He is down and hurt. Ray Bork is hurt. A heavy, heavy hit by Thibodeau. There is no penalty indication from Frazier. He, he was got, smashed behind the net. He got a cross check on the back of the head. Gordy Kluzek stepped in in the middle of three Canadians. Jim Narragan out to check with Bork, who's back up, skating slowly to the Boston bench. He was racked up. He racked up with a cheap stick here. Let's see if Frazier is calling a penalty. The Bruins did not have a power play in the second period. He did not call a power play. Right there, the cross check, the follow through by Thibodeau. Frazier is over to the penalty box. High stick. And he is calling Kordick. Well, Kordick for the high stick. Now, after the fact, it came and, and Kluzak. Kluzak. He missed the call on Bork. He let that go. There was no indication at all that he was going to call anything on that. It was the high stick in the aftermath. Of finding Ray Borg down and out. Down but not out, thankfully. The Bruins would surely miss their leader at this point. Bork does not do that. There is Raymond Bork, stunned by the hit by Thibodeau behind the net. Looked like he got it in the eye. He was motioning towards his eye. Well, matching penalties to Kordick and Kluzak for high sticking. Wesley is on with Larson. Bruins clear it in. The teams are at full strength and five minutes played in the third period. Cam Neely, two goals. Casper, two goals. Kordick for Montreal. The long clear by everybody. All the way to Lemlin, so no icing. Larson, Wesley, safely to center ice to Casper. And a good break here with Burridge. But stays back. But Casper holds it, moves it in. Front shot, save. Roy. Rebound, Larson. Oh, big stop. The light goes on. They wave off the goal. The linesman has waved off the goal. Larson put it in. A long delay on the light going on. It looked like it was in. I think what they're going to call, Fred, is that the, the net was knocked off its moorings. And in, in, in the motion, the puck getting there. And now the Canadians doing just what's available to them. Roughing it up, hoping they can uh, intimidate Boston. They're not going to intimidate anyone in the Stanley Cup. Over the years, that's what I found. That in the Stanley Cup play, no one is scared. We'll return with more playoff hockey on TV 38 after this message. Guy Carbono seldom gets out on the power play, and he was a little disgusted that uh, Perron didn't leave him out in this situation, throwing his stick up as he saw replacements come out there. Has to be annoyed. Well, that's, that is also another bad sign of character. They've had their, their dissension problems all year in Montreal, and agreeing with Perron. I think the Nylon trade had a lot to do with it. It brought it to a head. They opted to get uh, let Chris Nylon go, big mistake. Back to Chelios. Chelios wraps it. It is blocked. Burridge able to clear it away. Too far ahead of Casper, but he races Robinson for it. Checks Robinson deep all the way. Battles him and still going behind the net. Casper with two goals. Battles Robinson. Gets the puck. Trying to contain it in there. What a marvelous job by Steve Casper, the Montreal native. The Canadians break it out now. Naslin wraps it in. The puck's away to Lemlin. Cuts in front of the net. Uh, no danger of going in. The fans yelled. Naslin has it now, though. Always dangerous. Wheeling in the zone on the perimeter. Gets it back to Chelios, who just kept it in. Chelios moves it into Smith. Smith lost it. Bork there. Up for Casper. Casper slides it back near the line. And not out, they say. Corson in the corner. Hit behind the net. Bork trying to get it. Clears it around the boards. Robinson there. Power play Montreal. Puck fed in. Robinson missed it. Corson gets it now to Robinson. Everybody way up for the Canadians. Off for Chelios. 
Chelios in front for Naslund. The backhander missed. The rebound, a great save on Robinson. Robinson to Naslund behind the net. Naslund wheeling, trying to put it in front. A save, a save again. Across it goes, and Burridge gets it and drops it out of the zone. Marvelous work by Lemlin. 38 seconds left. Here's Burridge alone. He's onside. He's in. He is stopped by Roa. A shorthanded bid by Burridge as Robinson was trapped deep. Power play Montreal, 25 seconds left. Spoboda over the line, checked by Wesley. Wesley gets it free to Alan Peterson. Up for Lindsman. Lindsman trying to out outskate Kordic. Loses to Spoboda. 15 seconds left on the Montreal power play. They have two in the second period. They have this one here. The Bruins have not been given any by Newell in the second and third periods. Back goes Wesley. Wesley trying to move it out up the boards. Thibodeau able to keep it in. And Bruins get a man back. Trying to get in the play. Wesley trying to jam it up and get a face off. The Canadians get it. Kordick broken up. Around the boards. Baboda checked by Lindsman. The puck cleared down. No icing. The Bruins kill off the penalty. 10.40 left. Third period. It is icing. As the Bruins were back at full strength. And with the score, Boston 4 and Montreal 1 will return with more Bruins hockey in just a moment. Janney just pokes it out softly. Joyce hustles on Lawler. Into the corner. Prevents any icing. There wouldn't have been any. Neely keeps it in. Looking for Joyce. Joyce in the corner. Checking it. Battling. He doesn't want to throw it away. And any careless pass out. Janney keeping it. Battling. And can't get it now. Moving up as Larson forces an errant pass out. Or a runt, as we say. Aram. <laughs> Aram pass. Halfway through the third period, Boston 4 to 1. Janney out with Neely, who has scored two goals. Casper with two. Puck rolls to center ice. Kluzak clears it back in. Lawler starting the play in the center ice. Carboneau over the line. The shot in by Charbonneau. The save by Lemlin. Kluzak. Off on the left for Joyce, can't clear it out. Chelios a shot back in, a save. The rebound, Bruins fail to clear it out. Robinson a shot, oh, what a stop. There is the big save. The Bruins trying to clear it out softly are handing the puck to the Canadians, and Robinson fired one, and Lemlin made a magnificent stop, but the Bruins have to clear that puck out and take the icing as they did just then. Well, you got to say to yourself, what are they trying to do? They're trying to come out with authority, and a little quick pass like that, nearly to Joyce, would have been a tremendous if it had to work. If it doesn't work, you're dead. So I'd like to see him get a little more on it at this stage of the game. They don't need any more goals. And they can't give Montreal opportunities like that, as they did in game number two, riding a 3 0 lead. Reggie Lemel is just playing outstanding in goal. He's with a goaltender. You know, a lot of guys, a lot of the old timers in hockey are telling, well, that's his job. That's what he's supposed to do. And you, he's part of the team. He's got a black and gold sweater on. But he's just, uh, he's going to first star again. Shots are 29 Boston, 28 Montreal. Lynn's been on the faceoff with Scrutland to the left of Reggie Lemlin. This time it's uh, Montreal taking time and uh, stalling here as uh, Larry Robinson now moves back to the point, adjusting the tape on his stick. Faceoff, Scrutland, Chelios and Robinson are out there. They're playing just about the whole third period. McPhee and Lemieux. The draw to Peterson. Peterson lost it. Lemieux can't hang on to it. Bork drops it out. No icing. Back for Chelios. A quick clear out by Ray Bork that time. Robinson winding up. Back to Chelios. Scrudland in the center ice to the Boston line. Over the line comes McPhee. He's checked. Bork trying to get it. It's kept in by the Canadians. Lemieux taps it. Now Scrudland checked. Lemieux with it. Off on the side. Wheeling around. Holding. Trying to move in. Goes behind the net. Checked by Lindsman. Good defensive play by Lindsman. But the puck is kept in by Robinson. It's like a power play. It's popped in front. And with it, Sweeney. Sweeney fails to clear it again. But the shot by Chelios blocked. LeMay gets it out to Sweeney. Sweeney loses to McPhee. McPhee knocked down. Lindsman breaking over the line. Pops it in safely. A smart, heady play by the veteran. Sweeney forechecking on Robinson. Jams him up in the corner. They battle. Lemieux into the fray behind the net. It's taken by Burridge. Wheels it in front. But Casper had stayed back. 
cautiously as he should. He has two goals, two great goals, both set up by Burridge. A shot by Larson. Rawa can't get it out of his pads. Tries, still trying, out of the glove maybe. <laughs> and the faceoff called. We'll return with more third period action after this message. And the faceoff to the left of Patrick Rawa. 8-18 left, third period, 4-1 Boston. Two goals by Steve Casper, two by Cam Neely. Kornick for Montreal. Kluzak and Wesley for the Bruins. The draw to Svoboda. Forced back. Now it's up for Dahlin. The pass missed by Thibodeau. Bruins control it. Casper flipping it back in the Montreal end. Rawat trying to clear it up the boards. Casper keeps it in. In deep for Burridge, who's been everywhere. Gets it to Casper in front. Quick shot by Johnston. And it was deflected wide. Early in the game, he had a great scoring bid. The Canadians are out. Darlene rushing over the line. Checked on the play. It's Thibodeau, not Darlene. And away comes Casper. Casper pokes it ahead and can't get in on Green. Hull Green down. And it is Burridge fighting to keep it in. Pokes it into the Canadian end. 7.35 left. Burridge has set up both the Casper goals. Canadians start back, trailing by three. They are broken up. Neely with it. Took it away from Kordak. Neely over the line. A shot. Grabbed by Rowat. Dropped off. And winding up now is Smith. Kordak has the lone Montreal goal. Smith out with Corson. At the line. Checked. Puck. Over on the boards. Cam Neely with it. Cam Neely hit in the corner. Maybe looking for a faceoff. And he gets it. The Bruins want those whistles, oh, say, less than every minute. They really break up play, Fred. You have to go back to face-off, drop the puck. The Bruins have been winning the face-off, so that's exactly what they want to do. Stop any uh, given goal here that the Canadians have organized. You get a lot of whistles. It really slows up play. New Jersey leads Washington 2-1 to one in the third period. That series tied at two games apiece. Boston leads here 4-1. to one. Two goals by Casper, two by Neely. Kordick for Montreal. Smith is out with Maslin and Corson. Ludwig and Lawler. Lindsman on the draw with Smith to the right of Lemlin. Canadians with it. Checked on the play, though, by Bob Sweeney. Sweeney poked it away from Ludwig to the Montreal zone. Hustling work. Four checking is LeMay all the way in Lawler. Lawler off for Ludwig. Bruins battling to keep it in. The puck goes to center ice. Wrapped up by LeMay. Flipped back in wide of Roy. 6.45 left, third period, 4-1 to one Boston. Lynn's been out. This is a long clear by the Canadians. Back for it goes Larson. Larson wheels away from Corson. Cuts it to center ice. Trying to set up Lindsman. He has to chase it to the corner. Ludwig and Lindsman. And Crowder helps out. In just jamming it up. Killing time in the Montreal end. Lawler and Crowder battling. The puck is loose. Roy started after it. Smith back. And finally a whistle and a face-off call. And a struggle now. Lindsman and Ludwig. Keith Crowder, great shift. He just was all over the ice checking everybody that moved. You talked about the Bruins going for the puck, and particularly with a 4-1 to lead. Go for it. Now, you go to the puck, what you're doing was you're forcing the Montreal Canadiens to make the play in traffic. Regardless of whether they can make it or not, if you're on them, they don't give them any time to make that perfect pinpoint pass. Everything then is on an angles, it's coming at your feet, it's in the air, it's bouncing. And that's skating. As long as the Bruins are skating, and the Montreal Canadiens are forced to move the puck quicker than they would want to normally. Ludwig and Lindsman are out. And 6.18 left. Matching penalties by Newell. And the faceoff will be in the Montreal end. For Terry O'Reilly, he sends out Joyce, Jenny, and Neely. In game number three, this line accounted for 11 shots on the Montreal net, but no points. You could see them just starting to break out game by game, getting better. Ryan Walter did a masterful job on, uh, on Neely for a while. Cam adjusted to it, started slipping them. Never got preoccupied with hitting and then started playing uh, a different style of game and thrown Walter off. They've had to shake him loose. In game number four, they had eight shots. Uh, they created a lot of offense, but did not get any points, but Neely with two here now. And long shot by Chelios wide. 
Rebound, Kluzak up the boards and out, and a break here by Janney. Two and one with Joyce. Chelios back. Janney pulls, gives it to Joyce right in, and a save by Roy. You could not ask for a better setup than Janney gave to Bob Joyce on that one. At the Boston line, Wesley takes over. A big opportunity and a fine stop by Roy. But Janney made a magnificent move on the two on one. Bruins break it up. Now it's knocked back in, knocked out quickly by Kluzak. 5.35 left third period. Walter winding up over the line, drops it, quick shot. It is blocked. Neely put a wicked hit on Carboneau. Puck kept in. Charbonneau trying to get it, and the Bruins, Kluzak clears it out. Back for it goes Robinson. Boston changing up since Montreal has to go deep in their zone. A flip in wide of Lemlin should be icing. But they have waved it off. Bruins get it though. Bork away to Burridge. What a game he has played. Two assists. He's over the line. He's going deep. He is Casper there. A pass in front. Knocked off by Svoboda. Scoodlin breaks it out. Five minutes left. Poke check by Raymond Bork. Stop that. The magnificent Raymond Bork. You know, Ray Bork, that, that play was set up by Bork by tremendous hustle on Greg Johnson's part on the far wing here, picking up McPhee. Great job by Johnson. He looked across to make the play to him. Lemieux looked, couldn't make it. That gave Bork time to move on it. That's why this is such a great team game. New Jersey beat Washington. They have won two games against the Caps in Washington. In Washington. They lead the series three to two. Tough, and you're missing Rod Langway, Fred. Very tough. He's the he's the one of the one of the better defensemen in this league. Little leg on the ice. Egg thrown on the Montreal ice. Montreal fans losing it here a little bit. They're looks, not. Looks they're not all him. that elegant. It looks good on them. I'll tell you. Uh, Lee Montville has a story in Sports Illustrated, and I'm quoted here and there. It's a magnificent story about this long series <laughs> and its effect on the psyche of fans in uh, New England. And uh, it's in this week's with uh, Muhammad Ali on the cover, Lee Montville of the uh, Boston Globe. Boston fans will Excellent particularly writer. enjoy it when they look at this score. But 4.53 left. Well, Fred, for the Bruins, it's been a long time since 1943. Not sure what that is about, but uh, <laughs> 1943. I got it. <laughs> okay. Lee Montville asked me what I remembered. I said the whole thing is a blur, <laughs> just one big blur. Okay, well, there's a lot of a lot of hockey in between now. What have we here? Is that Sam Pollock? That. Uh, Mr. Corey, the president of the Canadians. Savard, Serge Savard, that's the Canadians' executive box. Unless we are informed of these pictures, when Bob Frateroli is with us here, he's not down in the truck, and the Canadian producer doesn't inform us. I mean, you, you need, need a little, little identification. 6-5, pick him, name a name, and hope it works out. Serge Savard does not wear a number. So. No. But you, I know Serge Savard. You can't miss Serge Savard. <laughs> I would want to miss him right now. Oh, yes. I'm glad he's not out there now. A great player in his time. Bobby Smith, Matt Snazzling, Jean Perron. John Cordick scored two of the last three Canadian goals, insisted on the other one. He's not on the ice. That'll be questioned tomorrow. Scrudlin on the faceoff, and Crowder a nice backhand flip. Green with it for Svoboda. The long pass over the line bounces for Kluzak. Kluzak carefully moves it out. McPhee starts the play again. 4.28 left. Svoboda winding up. Pass stopped by Raymond Bork, who is everywhere. He moves back to get the puck in the Boston zone. Off to an uncovered Kluzak. Back to Bork. Bork to Sweeney. And Sweeney clears it in. Sweeney assisted on a breakaway by Neely. Neely a breakup of Green for his two scores. Casper set up by Burridge on both. Over the line, Reed Larson able to clear it away. And uh, Neely going for it. Roy forced to come out way out of the net. Clears it around. Gets a piece of Neely. 
who hurdled him and goes down. Bruins forecheck. Out the puck is out in the center ice. Thibodeau, a shot wide. The long rebound, Kordick. Kordick almost gave it away. Bruins clear it out. It could be icing, but a race. Janney trying to prevent it. Chelios gets back first and 336 left. Excellent gesture by Cam Neely. He could have just rocked Patrick Goua. Jumped out of his way to avoid him. Hope you don't, you don't want to hurt yourself trying to get out of the way. If the Bruins win this game, they'll be the champions of the Adams division. Move on to face either Washington or New Jersey in the conference finals. TV 38 will be there to carry games three and four of that series. Game three will be one week from Friday. Game four will be one week from Sunday. Game time is 7.30. Join us on TV 38 for all the playoff action. Icing call. New Jersey 3 to 1 apparently the final score if it is over on the board here which would give them a lead in the series three games to two Edmonton swept Calgary in four straight amassing the grand total of 17 shots last night and getting six goals that's well, all that counts they Somebody got some pure snipers you know Calgary's got a great hockey club but where they were just a little shy and maybe suspect was in goal. Mike Vernon was left alone on his own all year long. They were not a defensive hockey club, and defense wins Stanley Cups, and that's exactly what the Bruins are doing tonight. Just playing excellent defense from Bork. Gord Kluzak's playing fantastic. You got Reed Larson come up with a big effort tonight. Excellent effort by Reed Larson. Steve Casper Al with Peterson and everyone. Steve Casper on the draw. He has two goals. Cam Neely has two, and Cordick one. That's the scoring somewhere. 28 shots by the Canadians. Thibodeau on the draw, goes to the corner, belted by Bork, the puck back, right point, save. Chelios, save. Lemlin on the shot by Chelios, the rebound. Sweeney gets it out, Casper trying to break, just lost control. Sweeney hangs back, intercepts a Chelios pass, clears it in the Canadian zone. 3.20 left, third period, 4-1 to one Boston. Canadians started away, in the center ice, over the line, Kordick. Kordick is checked hard by Kluzak. Robinson keeps it in for Darlene. Darlene wheeling around in the zone. Is spilled. Bruins get a breakout. There is no call there by Newell. Here comes a two and one. Johnston is open. Casper went for the hat trick. Didn't get it. That's all the way back to Kordick. Kordick back over the line. And a great recovery by Larson to ride him off. But Darlene keeps it in. Darlene checked. Puck loose. Darlene breaks away with it, gets it, moves it in front. Shot save Lemlin, and he clears it. And a face-off call. Larson entangled with Kordick. 2.41 left in the third period. 4-1 to one Boston. Tickets for the first two games. Wales Conference Championship round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Go on sale tomorrow morning, Wednesday, 11 a.m. at the Garden Box Office, Ticketron locations. And buy on the Teletron phone charge at 1-800-382-8080. The Bruins will open the Wales Conference Championship against either Washington or New Jersey at Boston Garden. Tickets marked F1 are valid for Game 1 on Monday, May 2nd, 735. Tickets marked F2 valid for Game 2 on Wednesday, May 4th, 735. There will be a four-ticket limit per person per game. And this being Secretary's Week, I'd like to say hello to all the secretaries in North America. BFI, all the girls back at BFI. Lensman craftily knocked the puck all the way down to Roy on that faceoff. He knew that Smith would be drawing. 234 left, 4 to 1 Boston. At center ice, the Bruins cover it. Larson with it. Up for Crowder. Popped in on Roy. Lawler there. Round the board, stopped, kept in by LeMay for Crowder. Crowder to the backboards, now trying to put it in front. It's knocked away, and the Canadians get it. Lindsman from behind broke up Naslin. Marvelous check by Lindsman and the puck cleared out by the Bruins. Smith is racked up at center ice. Naslin gets it away. Popped over the Boston line. Smith going for it. Smith in for Corson. Popped in front. Locked. Cleared. Wesley can't move it out. Smith keeps it in. Pass in front. Knocked away. Crowder with it. And a breakout by Lindsman. He's coming one on one. Takes his time. The Bruins want to change here. And Neely comes out. 144 left. 4 to 1 Boston. Robinson back. Now for Corson. Corson broken up by Joyce. In deep. Centering pass. Rolls across. Chelios holds. Goes deep. Puts it across in front. Smith can't get it. The Bruins break it out. Neely on the right wing. 
A lead for Jenny too far. Forces Rawat to play it though. 122 left. 4 to 1 Boston. Neely in to wrap up the play. 115 left. Bruins about to take the Canadians in five. And I love as they swept them in four straight. They're not, you know, four in a row. Not in five games, but four in a Here's row. Here's a lead. Neely trying to go in, and Rawat knocks it away. Kept in by Jenny, and a shot goes wide. Less than a minute left. Four to one, Boston. John Blum is broken up over the line. Ryan Walter keeps it in. Pop back, and Robinson with it. His pass stopped. Bruins clear it out. Janney is checked by Chelios. 40 seconds left. The long drought has ended. Burridge breaks it up. Who's oh, out with it? Popped it ahead to the Canadian zone. 30 seconds left. Since 1943, haven't beaten them in the series. And this is a good Canadians team. A Make great Canadian no team. mistake about it. Led the Adams division. 19 seconds left. Boston four, two goals by Casper, who's out there, two by Neely. Uh, I never got to see it as a, as a player, but boy, it's sweet as a broadcaster. Six seconds left. Carbono just holds it. He says, I concede. And Greg Johnston up from the Maine Mariners played a game, and the salute to Lemlin. You never saw four better games than Reggie Lemlin turned in in the Nets for Boston. The Bruins wrap it up with four straight after losing the first one. More importantly, they'll get the break and the gap that they need. Are they happy? Now, John Perron's not, but I'll tell you, the Boston Bruins are a one happy bunch. Terry O'Reilly has whipped these guys into shape. John Cunniff there, Terry O'Reilly. The trainers move out. Stevie Casper, just a fantastic game. Well, he's had quite a season. Randy Burridge. There's somebody from Wear Mass loves the Bruins in TV 38. Reggie Lemon. Part of the club, Bob Joyce, Greg Janney, Cam Neely, tremendous two goals tonight. Rick Middleton out there. What a contributor he's been. Injured, did not play. Out there in the street close. The trainer's great bunch. Now gets the get ready. They got a few days off for the next series. It's a shame Ricky Middleton doesn't get the opportunity to have the sweater and the, the uniform on tonight, boy. And the Canadians congratulate the Boston Bruins. And uh, the Bruins won this one decisively. The shots were 29 for Montreal, 28 for Boston. Just kind of a scrambly goal by Cordick. The only defensive lapse, if indeed that's what it was. And beautiful goals by Casper and by Cam Neely, two apiece. Great goals by, uh, by both of them. It was just it came at the right time. The Bruins uh, went into it. The Montreal went into that shell early, which I think was a mistake. How about measuring the, the stick? The Bruins can skate with them, and that's the key. Terry O'Reilly said, I'm going to get myself. There he is. Come on, invite everybody in. Why not? <laughs> Ray Bork and Larry Robinson, there's a class act. Both of them, yeah. Credit to the game. Well, there is a great picture. Robinson right. and Lemlin, a couple of veterans. A couple of veterans, a lot of years, a lot of hours out there as kids, sweating and bleeding. No quick handshake for Lemlin. He talked to him, said, what a game. Reggie, one happy man. Ray uh, Bork, just a fantastic Norris Trophy series. And still undecided, New Jersey and Washington. And don't forget, tickets will be on sale tomorrow for this series. How sweet it is. Which will begin on Monday. And it will begin at the Boston Garden. The Bruins finished with a better record than either New Jersey or Washington. Sale of tickets tomorrow at 11 a.m. at the Garden box office. Ticketron locations via the Teletron phone charge 1-800-382-8080. And tickets marked F1, tickets marked F2 are valid for those games. Monday, May 2nd, Wednesday, May 4th. From Montreal, the final score, Boston 4 and Montreal 1. We'll be back to wrap up all the action in just a moment.